at 83 when you fast forwarded. Your soldiers' minds are mired in malignancy. Fear has taken root. No. It's the same size. Anyway, uh, minus 50 percent virtue chance on our next quest kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. No camo. Hamiel's dead. Hmm. Why is him? This is attempt 20. Attempt 20. Hmm. Interesting. The necromancer is up. Uh, freaking thing from the stars is annoying me. Always where I want to go. Hey, brave mustache. Mustache, I'm sorry, but you died on Rim Worlds. There's nothing we could do about it. You took a grenade to the brain. Literally, died in one hit. Your character profile said that you died because your brain uh, was obliterated by a grenade. So, uh, hey, Mustache, how's it going? <laughs> I do a straight trees. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Nacho points and macho points. Nacho, 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 man. A virtue checks if you don't get stressed out. Truth. 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 <sighs> Getting silence in the crypts would be really nice. And then do the necro next week. But can I afford to do that? I mean, I can take Hoopa. Because Hoopa is just going to do um, Flesh. They're not going to level here. That means I can take Ginger, Yokuz, or Tet. I can take two of them. I can take two of them. Am I going to use Senior Low on any of the veteran bosses that remain. I'm not going to use them on the flesh. I'm not going to use them in Crimson Court, I don't think. No, I'm not going to. So, it's okay if Senior Low levels. So, I can just bring him in here again. Don't have as much stall potential, though. Uh, I'm not going to let him take Doc, either, though, right? Uh, the, the problem is Doc has Creeping Cough now, which is really unfortunate. Hmm. Hmm. Creeping cough. Minus 20% damage really sucks. I mean, for the most part, Doc is stunning and stress healing anyway, so it's not like... It's not the worst, actually. Hmm. Man. Calm plus Creeping Cough. Minus 35% damage. Community. So Holy Lance wouldn't even be able to really take out a Stress Caster on round one, I don't think. Uh, uh, Gilly Sniper. Sniper, thank you for the follow. I mean, I could take Double Houndmaster. It's kind of a weird take, but we have so many. How would Double Houndmaster be? Double Houndmaster Flagellant Vestal would actually be okay against... Hold up. Oh, crap. I... No, we still have Cat. Okay. I don't know. Okay, 
Because we need to level Yokas, right? We Ginger doesn't need levels. Cat would level off this, but we're going to wait f to level them. Snap would be fine, as we determined last time. We all 17 doesn't need to level. Sneerlo does at some point. I'm not going to use them on any of the... BK also needs to level. All right, I think this would be all right. How much experience will we get? We get six, right? We get six experience. So Hoopa goes one point below, which is fine, because we want Hoopa for the flesh. Um, and then Senior Low levels, which is fine, because Senior Low is not going to the flesh. He's not going to um, the Baron. Yokaz gets to 34, so we can use them again. And Snap Target levels, which is okay, too. I think this is alright. Like, this isn't a great team for the Ruin. They're fine. The, the good thing is, this team is actually really good for a Shambler. Pretty good Shambler team. Hopefully you don't have to worry about that, but it is a pretty good one. It is a pretty good one. Okay, they're all upgraded, huh? Hey, right. as long as we have the blood um, to lead people back in town, this is what we'll take. Okay, let's see if there's anything we want to get rid of. Uh, Ginger had something, right? Hard skin we want to lock in. So we'll get rid of Hero Mania, lock in hard skins. Um, we're only going to look at people with a curse. Oh, crap. I didn't look if she was uh, wasting. She's craving. I'll be all right. Nightbot die. I don't use Nightbot, so I have no idea what you mean. I've never used Nightbot. Um, and the bot we do use is working fine. So anyway, the only thing we want to put in here is uh, is other people with a curse. This dungeon's going alright, so far. So far. Hey, Electronica, how's it going? You're not seeing any bot-related commands. Well, I mean, you typed death blow and it said you survived the death blow. I'm seeing all of them, so I have no idea. Maybe you should, do you have the bot blocked or something? It's the only thing I can think of is if you have it blocked. Baron tonight? I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing the Baron tonight because I still need to do the Fanatic. So I haven't decided yet. Yeah. I can see two. So make sure you don't have the bot blocked. That's the only thing I can think of that would make you not see a certain user's messages in a chat. Uh, Irish will get you stress healed this week. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that is weird. That is weird. But it's fixed now. The Dungeons of Vestal, you are... You are. So, our Vestal healing as always. How Master Overture Moon Cloak. Pretty much always. Souls are your. The way healing. You've, you've healed a lot. Uh, moon Cloak. Dark Bracer. Dark Bracer. Hard skins, huh? Surgical gloves, that's alright. Oh, you you got a clip of Brave Mustache dying? Is that what that is? One sec. Alright. It's not loading for me. 
I usually don't click links when I'm playing anyway, but... If it doesn't load in a second, I'll just look at it later. I mean, he went down, fa like, well, instantly. And the pro like I said, the crappy thing was, like, right as the the grenade... Uh, the one that was throwing the grenade... Like, fell. I don't know what's going on with Twitch. Don't know. Alright, I give up. I give up. Alright, give it up for real this time. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Afterwards. We'll get it afterwards. Okay. Alrighty. Discord, yeah, thank you, Cry. Streams okay here. Oh yeah, I was just trying to uh Twitch wasn't the the clip. I don't know. It seems so like when I go to look at clips off of Reddit and stuff like that for other people's streams, if I ever go to the Twitch version of it, it has a lot of trouble loading the clip. But if I go to like the mirror of it, which is on a different site, loads no problem. I don't know what the deal is. Alright, let's do it. Hey, Voodoo, welcome in. How you doing, Voodoo? Call the food. Stack shovels. You gotta take stuff for a shambler just in case. Never know when we're gonna be shambled. Gotta take blood. I don't think I wanna take eight. I mean, no, it's just better. Opera loading Twitch stuff. Might be browser related. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I have Chrome at the moment, but. Hmm. I don't know, it seems to come and go. Food, shovels, yeah, shambler stuff. We got blood. Uh, upgrades. Trinkets. Skills. Camp. Upgrades. Trinkets. Skills. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Camp. Upgrades. Trinkets. Skills. Camp. Upgrades. Trinkets. Skills. Camp. Alright, we're good. Let's do this. Internet was acting funky, so you're glad. You can start. Start working before the stream ended. Fall asleep to the mantra. Can the defiled so a veteran, uh... Oh crap, I didn't end up removing that disease from our... This is a long dungeon for a medium... Uh, yeah, a medium. Uh, anyway, I didn't end up removing that disease from our... Um, our Crusader. Alright, veterans, so... Paw battles have 8% chance of being a Shambler here, 4% chance to be a Collector. We haven't seen either in a while. I mean, we saw a Shambler on Saturday. So, that was only three, two, two and a half streams ago. So... All right, bloodlust is gone. A star spawned horror. <laughs> <Gigi! laughs> Don't say his name. <laughs> Man, it's kind of crazy. My hands immediately start sweating. This does suck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, Tet. I know Tet. <laughs> I know Crescent. First one? No, it's not. All right, it's a veteran. It's not the first one. Uh, holy water. We're going ahead and get Dodge up. Good luck. Thank you. Holy water. Get a repose going. This is actually a pretty easy team for it. Sorry, malignant. <laughs> I don't friends. I don't pork. The blood quickens. <gasps> it's, it's not a Christmas, Christmas miracle at all. 
All right, here we go. Good news is we have we have a decent team for this. This team isn't even that great for the ruins. Oh, but we have dodge stacked. Grievous. Yeah, get him out. Crit repose kill. Sinulo. Tell you, Sinulo's a god. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Treat? Well, the treat wouldn't have helped us with the guard, so it was useless to use it that round. I was the wrong compared to run four. Um, I, I don't know. This runs felt easier than run four did, honestly. Sneerlo is a is a god. <laughs> like, seriously. Me second round, yeah. Houndmaster's dodging everything, which is really nice. We need to keep our holy waters up. Yeah, <laughs> Sinulo. <laughs> he's not getting any stress or anything because he's just repose killing them. Well, we were on like 58. 58 or something like that. Let's get a repose refreshed. Got the bleed. This is risky leaving the clapper up, but good heal. Kill them before they get buffed too. Yes. Impressive. Oh, that's a bad shuffle. It's a really bad shuffle. One of the worst we could have gotten. Uh, holy waters back up. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Easiest shambler of my life. Literally. <laughs> get out. Go back to the stars. Man, those are a post crits. Just <laughs> those are a post crits. And always uh, no, it came back. I already sold this. That was good. That was good. Chris Vircle all along. <laughs> Oh man, my hands are still sweaty though. It's good. That was the best shambler I've ever fought, honestly. Like, I don't think I've ever had a shambler go better. Look at this! 61, 72 stress total. GG! You know, we were kind of lucky that I was the first fight, right? GG. My hands are sweaty. My hands are sweaty. Uh, okay, so I don't think we need all this anymore. Bye-bye, uh, Trito. Are your arms heavy? My knees are weak. Bomb spaghetti. Got vomit on my sweater already. Bomb spaghetti. I'm not going to loot these until we go to this room. Yeah, that felt good. I do Paladin. <laughs> Hacks laden with loot are often long now watch us die to four spiders we'll get rid of the treat at some point spaghetti on spaghetti already yes what is tonight <laughs> this is the run guys it has to be I've been looking for camo cloaks for so long we just kill a shambler and then we just get a camo cloak Cloak in an urn. <laughs> this is an amazing sign. Right? This is the run. Don't get ahead of ourselves. We're not, we're like, <laughs> we're like 60% through. We have a lot, a lot of game left to go. But holy crap. What a night. Oh, what a night. Who sings that? Is that Billy Joel? Felt easier than run four. Have you adjusted strategies? Um. So the one thing that I've done different differently this time, actually, mustache, is I 
prioritized using a jester more often, which is dangerous. It's inherently dangerous. But what I did to um, compensate from, for that danger is that I, um, I tried to get defensive trinkets. I got lucky and got a defensive trinket early, and then I tried to get more of them, tried to target some defensive ones. That way I could bring a jester for that early game stress relief without as much risk of him dying. So I think that actually helped out a whole lot. Uh, I'm parallel finesse for the buff. We'll do scouting. And we'll prevent night time ambush. Billy Joel, I was right. Ask question if you don't mind. Oh, where was that? Uh, sorry, I missed it. Where was that? Are the roaming bosses limited to once per dungeon? Yes, they are. Four seasons. Myself that overconfidence is slow to killer. I know. Why do you need camo cloak? Cause camo cloaks work in Darkest Dungeon Four, in the Crimson Court, and in the Farmstead. And my strategy for beating Dark Souls 4 with no deaths involves stacking dodge, and the Camo Cloak is one of the best trinkets in the game for stacking dodge. If only treasure could staunch the flow of other world Um, I don't really, I don't know. I'm not going to get rid of the bandages quite yet, I don't think. Might end up needing them. Uh, you haven't been able to do torches in Darkest Dungeon 4 since, like, apparently, like, 2016 or something. But no, Darkest Dungeon 4 always counts as Radiant. Darkest Dungeon 4, Farmstead, and um, Crimson Court, all of those always count for as Radiant as far as torches, or as far as uh, trinkets and things are concerned. I'm afraid of her getting point blank shot, but... Yeah, sorry I missed it, Strange Trees. Um, if anyone ever has a question and I'm like, you know, super paying attention to the game at that moment or chats a little bit fast or something like that, if you put AMA or type Adam in any part of the message, either of those, it takes the message and it puts it over into another box I have set up so that I can come back to those questions really easily, even if chat is scrolled past it a lot at that point. But uh, yes, the roaming bosses um, are once per dungeon... Um, the only caveat to that is that you can't have more than one Shambler, but only if you summon, oh, Chance to be hero in the Farmstead. Um, not unless, so as long as no one goes to the graveyard, if anyone goes to the graveyard, we lose the challenge. So as far as like an endless... If we lose someone in Endless, no. Behind this fight? Oh, behind my whole challenge? What do you mean? Like, why am I doing it, or? The crit. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Body equals no death. Lost two characters. Got you left in there. Sorry, man. Like I said, that's that's how it is. Sometimes, I mean, even now, you know, I could just lose characters, but definitely early on. God, I lost a ton of people. Uh, we'll use Exanguinate. Your crit. Great heal in the back. To a Chandler and Collector in the same dungeon, yes. Uh, you can actually run into Shambler, Collector, Thing from the Stars, and Fnatic all in the same dungeon. Oh, why the heroes have no light? Uh, because the care, the uh, the the heir who is responsible for their provisioning and well-being is a, a cheapskate that won't buy them torches. That's the lore. <laughs> you prioritize your own upgrade, your town upgrades. Um, Sith, welcome back. So, Sith, if you can remind me when we get back to town, it's easier to like show. But basically, um, long story made super short. 
I prioritize making sure that we have our weapons, armor, and skills. The, the level that we're going into the next dungeon. So if I'm about to start veteran, I make sure that we have all the way up to level 4 is unlocked. I prioritize skills over weapons, over armor, because I feel like um, skills give you more bang for your buck overall, depending on the character, I suppose. But uh, as far as those, that's the order I prioritize them in. I feel like being able to kill enemies faster is better than being able to survive longer and giving them extra chances to crit you and things in general when it comes to upgrades. Uh, also, upgrading your roster is really important so that you have a wide variety of uh, heroes that you can use for different situations and also level slowly so you don't outlevel your gear and stuff. So basically, upgrading the stagecoach, the guild, and the blacksmith are the three top priorities. After that, I usually get um, the wagon upgraded a little bit so I can fill in trinket gaps. And I usually wait to upgrade the um, sanitarium until we're about to have a, um, a quest reward that's Caretaker's Convention. Because Caretaker's Convention makes the sanitarium free for a week. And so I like to have like a second slot open in there when that happens. But I can show more in more detail if you want when we get back to the town. Does that happen to me? No, I've never got all of them. I've definitely had a Shambler and Collector in the same one, though. The air. I.e. me, yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't had them all happen in one. Uh, Count Me Out had a bug right after Color Madness came out where the Fanatic was in every single dungeon, even if he had already killed him. <laughs> so, he had a pretty good shot at having things like that happen. Trinket Lady in favor of armor weapon upgrades. Yeah, it's not a priority, so it's like a lesser... Definitely get your... Um, the, the thing about having a really... Um, you know, big roster is that you can level them all. You want a really big lo roster and level them kind of evenly, right? You don't want to get like an A team all the way up because they'll out level your um, your upgrades. So the great thing about having a huge roster and leveling slowly is that you don't need to have like veteran level weapons and armor upgraded or uh, researched or whatever you want to call it um, right away. So you can spend a few crests to have some more trinkets come in or, you know, get your sanitarium upgrade a little bit. Use for each Darkest Dungeon. So, I know the Darkest Dungeons really well. Like, I know the maps and I know what we're fighting. Um, there's a different strategy for each one on why I choose what I choose. A lot of it has been, like, trial and error, too. You know, I've taken a lot of different teams to the Darkest Dungeons over all the playthroughs. Um... But yeah, I mean, it depends on which one. If you let me know which Darkest Dungeon, I can kind of go in more detail about a specific one if you want. Yeah, I, I, and I'll show you, Sith, you remind me when I get to town. I'll show you a little bit more in detail, like, what I do, why we have what we have. Is there one you wanted to know specifically, Electronica? Actually, I do want these. Trying to get the cartographer's camp. What is this dungeon? <laughs> An easy shambler into a free camo cloak into a secret room. What did you specifically ask? Um, well, I'll just give an example, I guess. So, like, the first darkest dungeon. There's three main threats. On the way to the boss, it's stress and bleed. Stress and bleed, that's that's the two big ones. So you want to take people that uh, can that have reach or repost, uh, some way to neutralize the targets that cause bleed and stress as soon as possible. And then you need some strong recovery, stress healer or a, uh, investal usually. So stress bleed and your last thought is the boss the boss is the shuffling horror the shuffling horror is kind of a version of the shambler that doesn't have clappers but shuffles you a ton hence its name so you know just taking in into account that like repost is really good because it aoe's and shuffles you a lot high women can get back forward and reposition very easily um so yeah i mean it's, it's just 
knowing what that Darkest Dungeon can throw at you and trying to counter that specific thing. In the first one, it's bleed and stress and shuffle. Hey, Corn Julio, welcome back. How you doing, Corn? Welcome on in. We fire it all? Oh, yeah, we're on like week 58 or something. Good dodge. We're probably like 60, 65% of the way through, maybe a little bit more. Obliterated. Just killed a Shaler. I feel really good about it, too. It's a really good Shaler fight. Dude, four and a four team comp. So, Darkest Dungeon 4 isn't very hard uh, on you damage wise. Not really. It's stress, it's super stressful. So if you bring a jester that has like uh, something, def like one defensive trinket and maybe a stress healing trinket like the Bright Tambourine um, and a Vestal, otherwise it doesn't matter too much. Like Reach is really good in there, Bleed is really good in there against the final phase. So there are a ton of teams that can work in Dark Dungeon 4. It's, it's kind of the easiest one of the four really. I'll see if we can get a stress heal in, but stress is what really kills you in Darkest Dungeon 4. I mean, bleeds can add up, of course, so um, that that's maybe one more thing to kind of keep an eye out for. Bleeds against the heart itself are amazing. One of the time, early times we killed the heart, we had like a 50-something point bleed on it. So, I mean, Hellions are good. Hellions are great almost everywhere. She has a reach, she has a good bleed. Um, but yeah, just keep an Keep stress in mind is the biggest thing in Dark Station 4. Do Champ Chandler Collector. I don't know. We haven't been doing that, Boone. But, so I don't know. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Started Dark Souls 2 today. Not very far. Like it so far. Scott 2. Majula. It's a lot of time killing that hippo thing before you even leave the old lady's house. Oh, uh, I gotcha. How you doing, Orchestra? Welcome in. Do by the way, Eagles. Nine heart attacks, DD4 before the wipe. Yeah. That is the thing in Dark Session 4. It's stress. It's stress. The damage output isn't insane. I mean, you can get a lot of, uh, like, take every provision that can help you in a battle. You don't need shovels and stuff like that, but every provision that you can use in a battle, you pretty much want to take. Um, and there's ways to cheese Dark Session 4 also. But... As long as you have a way to, you know, you have a good healer, you have a way to get rid of all that stress, you should be alright. Silence Rocks. I really loved Dark Souls 2. Like I said before, it, it gets like crap. People are, people say all the time it's the worst Soulsborne game. I really, really enjoyed it. I liked it just as much as the first Dark Souls. <gasps> Chess and Q, they're your favorite class right now. Um, yeah, I usually use two or so, sometimes more, but usually about two jesters. It's bad. How does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Are you in Jeep? Welcome in. Am I getting better with my fake laugh? <laughs> uh, I can't throw down the shovels yet, man. Eh. Three altars. We don't even need to go down here. Please, my no ban. <laughs> mm. Uh, I'm not going to go that way. There's no reason to. Design choices like some runs, the bosses are completely obnoxious. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, overall, I I liked the game just as much as the first. Really, the the thing about so that's the one thing about uh, Dark Souls Two that I really felt they missed out on um, that didn't capture the same magic as the first game, and that's the map design. And I mean, the individual maps are fine. Like I have nothing against those at all, but it was like a really... When I was first playing through Dark Souls... Crimson Curse. 
uh, blindly. It was like this magical moment when I realized how everything just links back together. It's all so compacted. It feels like a huge world, but the design is so intertwined. When you come out of one area and you're like, and you get a shortcut all the way back to Firelink or wherever, you're like, holy crap. I was right next to Firelink Shrine this whole time. Like, uh, that's something that Dark Souls 2 didn't do, um, unfortunately. So, I understand people's gripe on that one, but I still think it's a really good game. Favorite is 3. Love the DLC. Yeah, the DLC zones are really awesome, too. 3 is the best. Just poke that hippo for 5 damage at a time or not do it because it was the first thing that felt kind of hard in Dark Souls in a long time. <laughs> Rip. I, like, I mean, I like all the Dark Souls games. I like Bloodborne, S Sekiro. Really love playing Sekiro blindly on the stream. But, uh, I think Dark Souls 2 gets a bad rap, for sure. Bloodborne. Bloodborne's actually the first one I played. That's the one that got me into the rest of them. Bloodborne's one of my favorite modern games. For sure. Man. This mosquito's been up for three rounds. Try to like it, you can't get into it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not one of those people that are... Like, I'm not elitist about any game. You know that, I'm sure. So I'm, I know that not every game is going to be fun for everyone, and I don't think it's a matter of, like, oh, it's because you need to get good. You don't like Dark Souls because you suck at that genre. A lot of, like, the blood, or, uh, Soulsborne community are, is like that, unfortunately. But, no, it's, it's, a, it's a genre, right? If you don't like it, it doesn't bother me at all. I play Dark Souls or Bloodborne. I really love the Soulsborne games, but... Doesn't bother me if someone doesn't like them. It's like some people, I don't know, that community in general, not all of them, obviously, but there's a lot of people in those communities. And maybe it's just that they're the most vocal, right? That are like super hardcore and they try to make the game sound harder than it really is. And. Jeez. Trade at 15. About them, the music is nice. See the Sekiro too? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, I was I was mentioning that to my wife the other day. I was like, man, FromSoft always puts out one or two DLC. Can't wait until Sekiro has a DLC. <laughs> yeah, we have time. I mean, it might not a community just not be something you like, Sokar, you know? But you can always try it again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. No big deal. Tiger. Tiger uppercut. I don't know why. I always think of... Anyway, Tiger, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Street Fighter. Souls to be in general. Yeah. You like 15? I've never played. To run Dark Souls 2 for started. Maybe controls. Iframes get when you roll. Be nice the game explain these things to you. Super not hit. Yeah, like I said, the combat is a little bit different. It's a little, feels a little bit sluggish. What will happen if you kill the heart with one hit of 170 plus damage before it turns to phase three? So have sacrifice two. No, Tiger, you won't. Uh, there's two different ways to kill the heart without it doing coming to your maker. One is to one shot it, like you're talking about. One shot. The second is to two-man the entire fight. Uh, I two-man the entire fight, but you can do the one-shot too. Been there for a couple years. What's on? That was like this is in one. Uh, all right, final fight of this. This is a rough team, actually. This is one of the veteran setups of uh, of the Ruins. Veteran and champion that can really, really hurt. 
So, Bone Marksman have high crit chance to do a lot of damage. Uh, the Bone Commander has a lot of stun, and he also has a uh, Crushing Blow, which actually does about 27 crit against 10% protection. A momentary abatement. How is it legal for the enemy to crit three times in a row? Counts as a death this run? Yes. Count, uh, coming to your maker would count as a death, yeah. But we don't have to worry about it. Turn base RPG when it started. Well, it was fine, because those... We do it and the rest of us could keep it turn-based. To half the audience, really. I never knew they switched away from turn-based at all. I haven't played one in a long time. They had like points to zero one HP, yeah. A crit. How do I like the occultist? I think the occultist is a good character. Like all the characters in the game are actually decent. Like the, it's pretty well balanced, right? The the tiers aren't too far apart. The occultist actually is a better healer early. Well, I mean, for at on average, it heals for more than the Vestal early game. Uh, but the occultist obviously has a risk, so. Uh, they, I think too few people put the occultist in position one and two. The occultist can heal from one and two, and also has one of the best stuns in the game. Uh, so putting them in one and two is, is a really good bet. Generally, if you're going to take an occultist, you're probably also going to want to um, take someone else that can patch people up in case they're on death's door. Dodge tanked, but uh, yeah, the occultist is fine. Overall, I don't use them much in this run other than the early game just because, like I said, it's a risk, you know? And I'm trying to min-max a lot in this, but... Negative three, yeah. Say position two healer? Yeah, like the Occultist. That's the only position two healer, right? Run if coming to your maker cause you to reach the death limit. Yeah, electronica. Yep. 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 Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Crusader. I don't. I don't know. Crusader. I don't really ever see him as a healer. If you mean like pairing the occultist with him to have someone else that can like pick up the slack, that's fine. But I mean, I've I've tried. Uh, primary healer being the Crusader before, and it's... The, the good news is the Crusader's healing range is very minimal, like the gap, so you know kind of what he's going to heal every time. It's good to have that consistency, but can't really out-heal very many things in the game. Super stress heals only. My favorite use of the Crusader is start him in position 3 or 4 with Holy Lance and in the... In the beginning of the fight, you use Holy Lance to help you take out the stress casters in the back. And then as soon as the stress casters are dead, he just stress heals the rest of the fight. It's my favorite way to use him. Guys! <laughs> over 30,000 gold, a moon cloak, a camo cloak, and a dead shambler. <laughs> what a dungeon. Cinemadia sucks. Obsessed with food. No! Elevator. Gone already. We just got it. Just got it. Oh well. Eldritch is the most common enemy type. It's also... Uh, Darkest Dungeon is full of them. 